Hey there, welcome to Christianity over Islam with Sam Shaman. And on today's episode, the Muslim is uncomfortable with Muhammad Ibu's teaching concerning race. Does Muhammad hate the black people or does Allah hate the black people? Let's watch this amazing video to get more details. All right, uh, now, can I talk about black people and Day of Judgment? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to read to you. Uh, you're going to have to find this online on sunnah.com. It's a Tirmidhi. So, but let me read it for you. It's number 38 in the Alim. It's, you can find it on alim.org, O-R-G, the alim.org, A-L-I-M dot O-R-G, Tirmidhi collection. They have a translation. It's number 38. And then I want to read from Mishkat al Masabi. It should be narrated Abu Darda. You see that? Yes. Allah's messenger said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder and then emitted from it white offspring as if they were white ants he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offsprings as if they were charcoal he then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder meaning the white for paradise and i do not mind then he said to those who had been emitted from the left shoulder they are for hell and i do not mind so you just read the hadith from the right shoulder of adam he created white race and he says for paradise from the left he created black offsprings and he said these blacks are for hell why in the world is your god allah saying i'm going to create black people from adam for hell and i'm going to create white people from adam for paradise this i think i'm i don't think this is authentic because it, it even says in hadith that um Bilal ibn Rabah, he's, he was uh, he was black slave as you discussed he'll he, he actually he will go to paradise. He's going to put guarantee to paradise. Wait, the, um, I'm just going to read the hadith again. You know, I know the hadith, but that's not that didn't respond prove it because you know why? According to chapter three, verse one hundred eight, every black slave that was good will be turned into white. According to chapter three, verse one hundred eight, so he's going to change his skin color. You're not making your case. That's chapter three, verse one hundred eight. Maybe go there and see. The people the who enter paradise will be white, and those who go to hell will be black. So the black the slave will be changed into a white man, and those who go to hell, even if they're white, they'll be changed into black. Even then, like, three one hundred six. I'm sorry, finish, chapter three, verse okay. so one hundred eight. No, he wanted the hadith. Yeah. Chapter three, verse one hundred six. Yeah. I see your point. And then um, the black stone. It was. It, it, it's a stone that came from paradise. It came white. And because of the sins of the people, it turned black. And at the same time, black is like the like the color of dust. Like the color of dust and death. So you see my and don't point. get me wrong. Good. I'm not saying and please don't get don't me. I'm not saying that black people are like dirty or not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that death is black. Can we agree on that? Uh I'm not a Muslim, I can't agree with that. But all I'm no, trying no, to no. say no, no, I'm saying death is black. most most, most of the time death is black. Okay. If you wanna compare it to that, I mean I don't know what to say. I don't know. Okay. But I'm not saying but keep to the point though you said you see my point because even the stone that was white turned black so now you're admitting that a black man will be turned into a white man to enter paradise and even a white man who's evil will turn into a black man to go to hell because black that color black signifies evil dirt and sin no it, it, i'm sorry that's the country okay so why are uh, that's why what the hadith says, that's, what the hadith says that's not hadith is not authentic well, no, where does it? Oh, hold on. Give me the classification. It's, it doesn't say it's not authentic. Where did you get it's not authentic? It's the hadith says that people are black, like I'm going to be thrown, thrown to hell. That's not authentic. Mm, you can't make up the classification as you go along. It is authentic. It's not only in Tirmidhi. It's also in Mishkat al Masabi, and it was translated by Ahmed ibn Hanbal. I can give you the Mishkat. So it's there. You can't just make it up the way you want. I mean, you don't like it. That's okay. But these are your sources. It says what it says. I mean, I'm just quoting it. So, but you have a problem with that, so let me give you a final one then. Just want one more. Let's put that aside because you had a problem with that one. This, have you heard of Kadi Iyad, Musa al Yahsubi, the Kadi? No, no, no. He, he, he wrote the book Ashifa. Ashifa is, is actually a manual recommended by the ulama like Hamza Yusuf. Don't take my word for it. Do a search, Kadi Iyad, Musa. Hey guys, I think this, uh, this is a very, very, very shocking one. Allah created Adam struck his right hand and then white offspring came out he struck his left hand and then black offspring came out he said that the black will go to hell and he doesn't mind and why the white will go to heaven is that not racism it is shocking that uh, a religion can practically and um, come out to say that this is what the creator has decreed and people are in support of this kind of religion 
and then in only the black slaves will go to hell and any black slave that is good will be turned to white and then he will both go to hell not in the natural color of create of creation and then the black uh, the white that is bad that is evil will be turned to black and then he will go to hell can you see this level of racism in islam guys let's get back to this video to get more details El Yahsubi, he's a Qadi. He wrote a book called Ash Shifa, the healing that comes from honoring Mustafa, meaning your prophet. So, this is a manual recommended by Muslim scholars to read on the rights of Muhammad that every Muslim owes to Muhammad. And he's not quoting his opinion, he's quoting other sources, even the Sahaba and the uh, Tabiun. But with that said, let me read to you what he says. Okay, this is now in the English translation of his book. It's Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, as Shifa of Kadi Iyad, by Aisha Abdurrahman Buley. Aisha Abdurrahman Buley. It was even published in Scotland, UK, Medina Press. Okay, Ahmad ibn Abi Suleiman, the companion of Sahnun, said, Anyone, pay attention now, anyone who says that the Prophet was black should be killed. Now, let me read page 387. Ahmed ibn Abi Suleiman, Sahnun's companion, said that whoever says that the Prophet was black is killed. The Prophet was not black. Why do you kill a man for saying your Prophet is black? Why not just say, hey, no, he's a white man, don't call him black. Why kill him? That's, um, I think personally that's wrong. You, you shouldn't kill someone because of that. But that's not, like, that's not, that's not, like, directly from the Prophet. That's not from the Prophet. That's from someone, that's from someone else who's saying that about the Prophet. That's not what it's the Prophet is saying. Uh, see, Muhammad, you're not a Qadi, I'm not a Qadi, you're not a Mufti, I'm not a F Mufti, you're not an Alam, I'm not an Alam. This man is a Qadi. He's a recognized, renowned Muslim scholar and an expert at jurisprudence. He's simply giving the <clears throat> the rulings by the Muslim scholars, the ulama. It's not his opinion. He's saying, this is what happens to those who do X, Y, and Z. If you curse the Prophet, you are killed. If you say he's black, you are killed. He's not giving... That's wrong. I condemn, I condemn anyone who kills someone... For no reason. That's why I condemn. I condemn no, it's anyone. not for reason. It's insulting your prophet and saying that he's a false prophet or he's immoral or he's black. So it's no. I'm not saying no reason. They're saying there is a reason. You cannot in Sharia. You cannot insult the prophet or you're going to die. Are you telling me that's not true in Sharia? Can I insult the prophet and not be killed if I'm living in an Islamic state? No, you will. I will what? You said you will. But at the same time. I will be killed, right? I mean, just be, I mean, that's why I respect yeah. you. Honestly, you're being honest. So, in an Islamic state, David Wood and I saying Muhammad is false prophet. We're killed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, guys, welcome back. That was a very, very thrilling one and a very fascinating one from San Shemo right there. And I think this is very, very um, disheartening from um, a prof, from a, pro, a so-called prophet. For me, as a black person, and listening to this, on it ache me somehow. That a prophet can say that um, Allah created um, the people that are meant for hell and the people that are meant for heaven, and it is it is it is even more insulting that he says that the black will go to heaven. I mean, will go to hell, and white and why the, the white will go to to heaven. I think this 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 is very very outrageous. It is more shocking that this hadith is saying that Allah created Adam and struck. His right hand, and then the white offspring came out. He struck the left hand, black offspring came out, and the black is designed mainly for hell, and Allah does not care. And then uh, the guy said that, that the hadith is not authentic. But this is your Muslim source. You quote all this thing, this thing to support your Quran because your Quran is not complete in itself. So what are you saying that this? Hadith is not correct. Are you trying to deny yourself that it is not correct? These are young scholars who came out to write all these things. Even now, some of them are even with your prophet. They are they were your prophet's companion. So are you trying to deny this hadith because it contradicts your belief that racism is not good? And as a black Muslim watching this, are you comfortable with Allah? designing you mainly for hell and he doesn't care about where you will end up are you comfortable with it these are the little questions that you need to begin to ask yourself and ask your iman because this 
it's very shocking revelation and um, for me i'm just seeing this for the very first time guys what do you think about this debate about this revelation by Sun Shaman? let's know what you think in the comment section and don't forget to share this video with your friends most especially your muslim black friends that need to see this outrageous claim by the quran and the hadith and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this thank you and see you in our next video